This July, our family headed down to visit the beautiful town of Asheville, a city we love for its nature, charming downtown, and great food. Our first day, we headed to Pisgah National Forest to take Route 276 up the Waterfall Corridor. Our first stop was at Looking Glass Falls, which is an impressive 60-foot waterfall just steps off of 276. I would hardly count this as a hike as you only need to walk down a flight of stairs to reach the falls. Swimming is allowed in the falls, but we were there early in the morning and it was breezy and chilly, so that was a no-go for us. Our next hike was to Moore Cove Falls, which is a 50-foot free fall waterfall set in a scenic creek valley. It is an easy to moderate one mile hike that follows the creek all the way to the falls. Blake spotted a nice sized crawdad, or crayfish, which we were able to catch and release. The waterfall is dramatically beautiful given the sheer height, the surrounding areas, and the small cave behind the falls. We preferred this hike to some of the others as it was much less busy than a few of the other more popular hikes. Our boys got to spend time dunking their heads and getting underneath the falls. It is easy to see why this area in Transylvania County is dubbed the land of waterfalls as there are over 250 waterfalls just south of Asheville. Our next stop was at Sliding Rock. Sliding Rock is named for obvious reasons as you get to slide 60 feet down the waterfall into a nice refreshing pool below. The plunge pool is around 8 feet deep and remains near 55 degrees Fahrenheit year round, providing a refreshing thrill to visitors during summertime or even wintertime for extreme thrill seekers. This area gets very popular in the summer so expect a crowd, especially on the weekend. We got there around 11 a.m. and it was already crowded. We then stopped for lunch at the Cradle of Forestry. The Cradle of Forestry is nestled in the Pisgah National Forest very close to the Blue Ridge Mountains. We were able to explore a few historical buildings from the time of the Biltmore Forest School, see old logging tools, and climb aboard and ring the bell of a 1914 Climax logging train engine. We then started heading back to Asheville along the Blue Ridge Parkway. Winding, twisting, curving, and carving through the Blue Ridge Mountains, the Blue Ridge Parkway travels through some of Western North Carolina's most scenic terrain. The 475 mile road meanders through Asheville, offering access to some exceptional high elevation views from the overlooks peppered along its path.
the evening, we ventured out for some dinner at Daddy Max, ice cream at Ben and Jerry's, and then to watch the drum circle. The drum circle has been happening every Friday night for over 20 years and draws a huge crowd. The following morning, after a delicious breakfast at Biscuit Head, we headed over to Asheville's Western North Carolina Nature Center, which was a nice small zoo just east of downtown Asheville. In the afternoon, Blake and I went to the Pinball Museum where we could play over 70 different vintage games. Tracy and Luke went to a huge craft fair to check out some local artists. We met back up in the evening to get some dinner at White Duck Taco Shop before we headed to a Michael Franti concert, which was in a really neat venue called Salvage Station. It was an outdoor concert venue right on the river. The concert was great and we got to stand up near the front where he would come out and sit on a platform right next to us. <laughs> 